Hello everybody, welcome back to Dig It RC. Uh, this week, or today, what we're going to discuss is accessorizing our 4200 XL excavator. I realized I'd done a video on uh, this machine, the TR211, and accessorizing with the bucket and the quick disconnect on it, but I hadn't done one on the 4200 and what I'd done to accessorize it. Now, trying to find accessories for this machine, pretty much non-existent. But I did some adapting for the 360L accessories. And the 360L is a heavier machine, and it is built quite a bit differently from this one. And so, they say that these items won't fit on the 4200 XL, and I'll explain a few of the reasons why and a few of the modifications that I had to do to get it to fit. Now, the one thing that I did have to do to make everything work better is I just put the quick disconnect. It's a manual release. So you just flip that up, it releases, and your bucket comes off. Okay? So all of the accessories for that all have the same attachment so then you just slide it in click it back and it hooks in any which way it locks in and then to release you just release it like that all right so get you a different view here of that so you can kind of see how that works and as we get in there you can see it just got a couple of hooks right here, and then you have that spring action right there. Now the thing is getting this to fit on to the old machine, it's a different size. And I'd inquired on this to see if this accessory would work with my machine, and I got a flat out, no, it won't work. But just looking at some measurements online and stuff, I decided, that wasn't good enough for me and I thought I think I can make it work so it is larger this is the boom is narrower right across this way than what the 360L is the 360L is wider and so to give you an idea we are at mm, 25 millimeters wide and the accessories are 31 millimeters wide. And so it's wider than this boom, so you would get slop. And so as you can see, what I've done is I did some washers and put some washers in there. Now, the washers I use, these are just ones I had on hand is I took and I had to drill out the hole to six millimeter to fit that six millimeter pin because the hole on these washers was just shy. It was so close, but I had to drill it out to six millimeter to get the pin to go through. And then the thickness of these washers is at one millimeter and so I had five millimeters to make up from 25 to 30. And so I used five of them. So it's slightly off center, but I just did two on one side and three on the other. And I haven't had a lick of problems with it. That's been working great. Now, the only issue is once you put this quick disconnect on, unless you decide to remove the quick disconnect off the arms, you cannot use the original bucket with it any longer. And I wasn't satisfied with that either because I like to use this for a rock bucket. Uh, it's it's a really lightweight bucket versus th this one weighs a lot more. And I'll, I'll get a weight on these guys too. But this one's a lot heavier, but it's great for digging in dirt and stuff. But this one I like working with my bigger rock and stuff better. It's really lightweight, kind of tinny. 
But what I had to do is uh, take and cut this material away. So you can kind of see it's a, it's a plate that's welded on here and it's just bent. And this one, this bug is just real cheap. The, this machine is one of the cheaper excavators of this size that you can get that's hydraulic. And uh, it shows in some of the materials that they used. It's just super lightweight, still decent, but could be better. And so these are aluminum. And as you can see, the pins don't go all the way through, so I wasn't able to secure them. These are the original pins with this bucket. So what I did is I re-drilled my holes, cut these plates, and moved those bulkheads out. And then I put the pins in, and I had to re-drill where the pins go. So I went with the original location back here on this pin and move the pin back on this one to get that location right there. And I decided to move this one because this one has the le least amount of stress on it. This one has the most amount of stress on it. So that's why I relocated that front pin and left the back one alone. And so I just glued the pins in place because they just, they just fit right inside there. And none of the pressures on moving this way uh, side to side, all the pressure is up and down on it. So anything you do to get that pin to hold in place will work. So that's what I did to modify that bucket so that that bucket now will fit on the quick disconnect as well. So now I can use all my buckets, including the original, and just leave the quick disconnect hooked up and not have to worry about it. So that's what I did for being able to use the 360L accessories, the wide bucket, the heavy digger bucket, and then the scarifier, all with the 4200XL, which is really very minor modifications. And if you got this regular bucket, there's, you could just abandon that one altogether. I just decided to modify it so I could continue using it as well. But you don't even need to do that. As long as you get that bucket as well, then you can use any of the other accessories. And there's some other buckets out there that I want to get to for it that, for the 4200 XL that will work. And they'll work with this quick disconnect. So that's what I did for modifying it. Uh, so I never went into detail with what I did on this unit, but, but that's it. It's actually really super simple. If you get rid of this bucket, it really simplifies it to just do those washers. And these were the pins that even come with it. And they're just the uh, C-clip pins. So it's all secured on C-clips. And then now you can just easily accessorize your excavator. The one other thing, like I said, this is a lighter weight machine. And this is the ugly part that I've got right now that I haven't upgraded yet. I had to put about five pounds of weight on the back of this machine because the large bucket, when it's full of dirt, is too heavy. That it'll actually, once you're fully extended on the arm, it, it will just, it'll tip the machine over. And so to counter that, I had to put a heavier counterweight on the back. So what I plan to do is sooner or later, either replace this back end with a larger one that's heavier weight or have a nicer addition that's curved with the machine so it looks more scale and get rid of this ugly weight. But right now for the season, I needed to use it, so that's that's what I put on there and, and got working for it. So that's not permanent, that's just temporary. And it is the right amount of weight. I haven't had any issues with it with that amount of weight. So now I've got the weight I need. So I'll know what weight I need to replace that with. So but it's uh as long as it works, that's more important. Looks will come later. 
but it's a good working machine now. And with those accessories, that's I, these are what I use the most. This I use now and then, but really I could do without it. These ones are the ones that I like and want to use because they're just super good quality, super sturdy and super heavy. And uh, I'll grab the scale and we'll get a weight on all these so you guys can see the difference. Now this is the part that really blew me away is the weight difference on these. So here's our original bucket. That's coming in at 13.75 ounces. So under a pound. Our scarifier comes in at 6.75 ounces. So that's nice and heavy duty. Now our replacement bucket for that orange one Look at that, two pounds, 13, it's almost two pounds more than this bucket. 13.75, two pounds, 13. So 0.75 away from just being a two pounds heavier. That is a heavy duty bucket. And I mean, it's just, look at that thing. It's just super well built. And I've really enjoyed using that bucket. And then we have our large scoop bucket. And look at that. It's even a little bit lighter than the digging bucket at two pounds, four and a half ounces. So with that added weight, that's another, I mean, that's an extra two pounds with that one alone without dirt. And this one can grab even more dirt. So you can imagine that's that's probably an extra close to five pounds of weight that I'm throwing on the end of this. And so it needed that extra counterweight. So let's look at the measurements on these real quick too. Inside the bucket, just about three and three quarter inch. Inside of the bucket on this one is four and a quarter inches. Well, four and an eighth, so a little bit bigger. Uh, Depth-wise, as deepest point, about three, three and a quarter inches or so. And this one is about two and three quarters, so definitely more material that you can haul with that one too. There's this one, seven and a half inches at its depth about two and a half inches at the shallow part, but it goes clear out to four and a half inches at the lip. And you get a lot of material with that bucket as you guys have seen. And then this is impressive is when you're digging, especially in hard soil with this, I mean, you're digging down three and a half inches when you're getting it to its full depth. If you're only digging out to that part right there, about two and a half inches. That, that's pretty deep, getting that in there. So that thing works really good. But I've enjoyed using all these accessories, but now you have a good idea of the size, weight, what we're dealing with, why I put the counterweight on that bucket, and what you can do to be able to use the same accessories on your machine. The only sad part about this is to, I, I can't find an electric one that will work with this. There's a hydraulic one that they make for the 360L. But honestly, then I'd have to take and redo my hydraulics, add a valve in there, and bring up some hydraulic lines, and put extra hydraulic lines on here to run an hydraulic actuator. And as I would like to do that, I don't wanna put that kind of money into this machine. I would rather upgrade to another machine. So. That's my opinion. It, it is a decent machine. I do like working with it, but it's got enough setbacks in it that I don't really want to put more money into it. I'd rather just upgrade to an overall heavier machine because a heavier machine will work better. You can do more with it. So that's my opinion. I still love this thing. It works really good. And for the problems that I have had with it, they've they've been minor, mostly with the the walking drives uh, are weak, and of course, sloppier than sloppy on the slough. 
and I've replaced that slew motor. I've got that video up and you know, there's, there's just not a whole lot of options on this to be able to change that and eliminate that. But I wouldn't, for the price, I mean, you really can't beat that machine. It's really awesome. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll catch you guys next time.